Hey guys, it's MGS, back to give you another part of my Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004 playthrough. Today I'll be dueling against Merrick's mind puppet named Strings, and I hope to defeat him for the tenth time to unlock the green Millennium Booster Pack. So, I hope to do well in this duel. String starts off with a face down defense monster. Not a very exciting uh, opening move. Hopefully, I can spice things up. I will set my three traps Call of the Haunted, Magic Jammer, and Magic Cylinder face down on the field. And the only monster I can put on the field is Magician of Faith. Which is a bummer because I have no spell cards in my graveyard because we just started this duel, so I'm gonna be wasting her effect. But I do have to protect my life points, so that is the only option I have. So, Strings tributed his face down monster to summon his summon skull and it's gonna attack my Magician of Fate. But I won't allow it to, so I will just activate Magic Cylinder redirecting Summon Skull's attack to String's life points. Now it's my move. So now I sacrifice Magician of Faith to summon my Cybertech Alligator, who is also 2500 attack points just like Summon Skull, so we're at a stalemate here. So I'm gonna have to end my turn. Uh oh, here comes Dark Hole. This destroys every monster on the field. Um, I'll just let that go since none of us can destroy each other anyway, so it might be good that we're both destroyed. Since I do have Call of the Haunted. That's, this brings back a monster from my own graveyard. And I choose the obvious choice Cybertech Alligator. Looks like your plan to destroy me failed, Strings. So Strings said a defense monster to end his turn. I draw, Zomber the Dark. So now I summon Zombra the Dark. And it's a, an effect a monster that can only attack other monsters on the field. It can't attack directly. And whenever it destroys a monster, it loses 200 attack points. So I attack Slate Warrior. Slate Warrior is destroyed. But due to Slate Warrior's effect, I also lose 500 attack points, which means Zombra the Dark loses an attack of 700 attack points altogether, so it's now at 1400 attack. So Cybertech Alligator will dish out direct damage to Strings life points. Strings is down to 3000, so that's gonna end my turn. So he sets another face down defense that looks like he has no other choice. Looks like it's time to finish him off. So I summon Kiku, the Ghost Destroyer. And now it's time to enter my battle phase. And just in case he has a high defense monster on the field, I'm gonna attack it with Cybertech Alligator. But it was just his Voice Raider. So you never know if it could be a humanoid slime. So yeah. So Kiku attacks directly, and I guess I forgot that I had Zumbra on the field, so I can't take away the rest of his life points just yet. But I can use Kiku's effect, remove up to two monsters from Strings Graveyard. So I remove Summon Skull, so he can't reborn that. And I also remove his Slate Warrior. Okay, Strings, one more turn and I will finish you off. What will you, what will you do about that? So it looks like this is the end for you, Strings, as he laid out your last victim. Your last line of defense will be going down. So I'm going to go ahead and enter battle phase. 
And I'm going to attack with Cybertech Alligator. Which was a weak flying penguin, has been vanquished. And now I will finish you with Kiku the Ghost Destroyer. You have been beaten, Strings. So I unlock the Green Millennium Booster Pack. Let's see what I pull. Graceful Charity, not bad. Machine King, not too crazy about um, machines. Uh, let's see, Dragon Seeker, no thanks. Graceful Charity is alright, but I don't like discarding two cards from my hand. So that's going to do it for today, actually. And in the next part, I will try to defeat Odeon for the 10th time. And if I do so, I will unlock, I think, it might be the last Millennium Booster Pack, I'm not sure. But defeating him 10 times will earn you the Gold Millennium Booster. So I will work on that next time. And until then, guys, see you later.